Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can change the style of the active form field in a Squarespace website. When someone is typing into a form on your Squarespace website, the form field is what's known as active and it'll get a solid black outline. But unfortunately, that's something we can't change using the design menu in Squarespace. We have to use CSS to customize the way that that looks and that's exactly what you'll learn how to do in this tutorial. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'll go ahead and share my screen so you can learn exactly how to use these codes and how to customize them. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and on this page, I have a sample form. You'll see when I click into any of these fields, we get this solid black outline, which really doesn't go with my brand. That's what we're going to customize with CSS. I want to add this code to my entire website, so I'm going to navigate to Website, Website Tools, Custom CSS. If I add this code here, it will change every form that could exist on my website. I'll paste the first part of our code right here, and this is in the description below. This says I want you to add this code to any field that has an input and any text area input, which will be this message box right here. Now we're going to open up a curly bracket, and the first thing we can do is say outline none, exclamation point, important. And now when I click into any of these fields, that outline is gone. Now if you did like the outline, but you just want to change the color, we can do that with CSS. We can say 3px solid red, and now that outline becomes a solid red. You can also use a hex color code if you want to like my favorite shade of teal. Here we go. Now we'll see that teal outline around every active field. But let's say you want it completely gone. You can say outline none. I'll go ahead and add a semicolon because we want to make sure this active form field has a contrast so it's clear that we're editing the field. So I'm going to add a background color. I'll say background light yellow. And again, we'll say exclamation point important because we're overriding the code that's already there. And now when I'm typing into any of these fields, there'll be a light yellow. There's one last code I want to show you that we can add here, and that's to change the border. On my form fields, I have a light gray border around everything. If you want to just change up the border color, you can do that with CSS. Let's change up the border color to be red so it's very obvious. I'll say important. And now when we click on the field, it's a red border with a yellow background. Just like the outline, you can also say border none. We'll remove the color part and we'll say border none. And now it will just be that solid yellow background when I click into any of these fields. So lots of different customization options here. Just make sure that you have both of these selectors in your code because you want to get the field list right here, these individual items, and the text area in case you have a message field on your Squarespace website. This part of the code removes the outline that shows up automatically. This part of the code changes the background color, and this adjusts the border. After you've changed everything you want to change, select Save when you're done, and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used in this tutorial. Just make sure you customize things like the border and the other colors to make it uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, check out some of the related videos linked below so you can learn even more about customizing Squarespace. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.